Hey everyone, it's Schmuckles Dome. I'm my hair woke up. Today we're going to talk about a bunch of new kind of leaks, rumors, and insane theories for what people think is coming next in Dead by Daylight. There's been a lot of crazy news and we're going to go over all of this information and sort of clarify the basis for why people are speculating these things to come, as well as sort the facts from the fiction and the situation because there's actually people weighing in on this that don't know all of the facts of the situation. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content like this. This video is going to showcase a combination of leaks, rumors, and theories. I kind of just want to differentiate between the three, Behavior confirmed that they want to do an ocean map, and to me that screams of an OG pirate chapter, with a ship in the ocean as the new map possibly. Does this potential pirate arcade game teaser on the Greenville Square further support this theory? I mean, they did have the casting of Frank Stone teasers on this map too, and Dave Richard did say that there are deep, deep secrets hidden in the Dead by Daylight maps, and there is foreshadowing of what is to come in the lore. Could he have been talking about an original pirate killer here? Also, the new map that mysteriously isn't being released with Chapter 34 is super reminiscent of the US Outpost 31 from The Thing. If we take a look at The Thing gameplay from the Funko Fusion game featuring that license, the way that the outpost is portrayed looks remarkably similar to the Mount Ormond Lake mine. The Funko Fusion collaboration and the fact that The Thing game is being remastered after 13 years really shows that the license holders are active in the video game space. Does this monster roaring outside the perimeter of the map possibly confirm this theory? We're going to talk about the details later in this video. Let's start with the most concrete stuff, the stuff that is most likely actually true and coming into Dead by Daylight. Dwee posted on Twitter as per the files, there are strings to indicate the Houndmaster will have different dogs in her cosmetics. How it might work is unknown, but wait until it is officially out to see if it is the case. And then the game files are shown here. Inside of the models file, there's a dog folder that has two files in there, and there's two different sort of files and names associated with dogs. After Dweet posted this, this came out earlier today. It's the Doomed Chorus collection kit, and you can see there's actually a poodle as the dog, so it seems pretty certain that there's going to be dog skins coming with the Houndmaster. This news source, which has been posting all about Tokyo Ghoul's anniversary project said on November 3rd this month TV anime Tokyo Ghoul's 10th anniversary project is expanding beyond summer 2025 Tokyo Ghoul playback announced for June 2025 they also then quote tweeted their tweet and said dead by daylight people Tokyo Ghoul let's talk about it I saw a fairly popular DVD leaker retweet this tweet which led to rumors about Tokyo Ghoul and dead by daylight collaboration event and that is not actually classifying exactly what happened the person who leaked the concept art for the Houndmaster before that was public information months ago which actually we found out the other day turned out to be true. Also said Tokyo Ghoul is collaborating with Dead by Daylight. This was information that was confirmed by one of the mods of DBD. And then after that, Gorgia retweeted this person's Tokyo Ghoul tweet that was suggesting that there's one more announcement before the end of the 10 year anniversary. So it's not just a Dead by Daylight leaker retweeted this. One of the moderators, Gorgira of Dead by Daylight, retweeted this after they already thought because that person leaked the Houndmaster concept art, they received word that Tokyo Ghoul is an upcoming Dead by Daylight collaboration. So Gorgira did not retweet this for the sole information of just speculating that this announcement might be related to Dead by Daylight. Someone who leaked the Houndmaster concept art and has gained credibility has said that Tokyo Ghoul is coming to Dead by Daylight. So this is much closer to a leak than it is to a rumor. This person said, I'm not a casual Dead by Daylight player myself, does not fully understand the situation. I'm sure that most of you aren't familiar with Tokyo Ghoul's 10th anniversary event, so I would like to explain it in short. Tokyo Ghoul's 10th anniversary event has been more than three announcements so far after the exhibition. Now there was an accidental leak in late 2023 that showed episode number 00 of Tokyo Ghoul finishing production, hinting at a remake or new animation project. Project. From what I've seen is that people are spreading rumors about a Dead by Daylight collaboration because of certain signs that had the word ghoul on them. I think this person is talking about the shot in the dark theory that I posted about of the ghoul's lament on the Greenville Square sign. Ghoul is a term outside of Tokyo Ghoul itself and is often used in many video games, that's true. While I don't get information about game collaborations, the episode zero thingy could be a short animation for a video game collab, but animated? I'm not sure if DVD is suitable with animation. No one knows what the Tokyo Ghoul's 10th anniversary is leading to, but it is leading to something major. Akatsuki no Yona, a very popular title by the same producers and studio of Tokyo Ghoul, had its 10th anniversary recently with no project announced for it. What is planned for Tokyo Ghoul remains a huge mystery for now. A remake, a new video game, or perhaps a, a game collaboration? I would find it highly unlikely for them to create the 10th anniversary project that leads to a game collaboration. The info on one announcement being left is not 100% confirmed. There could be 10 more. The latest announcement was made for June 2025. It seems like the dates are becoming longer. DBD's collab is rumored for March, which might not add up, but it's not clear if that's their strategy. As of now, no one knows which company owns the 10th anniversary website. They've been paid to hide their identity. I would consider it the biggest mystery going on right now. Okay, so now my turn to respond to all of this. People are not spreading rumors about a Dead by Daylight collaboration because a certain sign on a certain map said Ghoul. People were wondering if Behavior was teasing Tokyo Ghoul because we sort of have information other than that to fully suggest that Tokyo Ghoul is going to be the March license or at least some sort of collaboration with Dead by Daylight. Like I said, someone who leaked the Houndmaster concept art and has gained credibility with leaks has now said that Dead by Daylight is going to be 
collaborating with Tokyo Ghoul. I didn't actually talk to this source myself. So if somewhere along the information chain, there's misinformation, then I don't actually know about that. But the Tokyo Ghoul rumors and leaks are far more credible than just seeing the word ghoul on a sign on a map in Dead by Daylight. Because I agree, the term ghoul is used a lot throughout just the horror industry. Also, Matthew Cote did say on DBD Day that there's going to be more Japanese IPs coming to DBD. We've talked about this in previous videos, but this person might not have all the information in the Dead by Daylight scene. Saying it's a mystery who created the 10-year anniversary project website for Tokyo Ghoul. We did a breakdown of the Japanese IPs, and you can see the property Tokyo Ghoul is owned by Sui Ishida, who created the entire franchise. Shuisha was the publisher that made the manga, and Puriat Studios was the animation studio behind the anime Tokyo Ghoul, which is based on the manga. So likely one or all of these entities are involved with this website. So I kind of commented some of these things to show them that like it's more than just a rumor at this point. Snack responded to my response. Snack's been getting responses from the official Dead by Daylight Twitter and has been following all of the news very, very closely day to day. Snack said, and the person who leaked the Houndmaster name also said the leaked art wasn't the base design. Also said Wesker would be getting cooldown changes, which was four weeks ago. All of this was true. Knowing this, they are very confident March is Tokyo Ghoul. They also stated the new killer will be Ken Kaneki and his name is the Ghoul. And I actually didn't even know that till just now, but Snack has definitely been in the know with all of this information. So at the beginning of this video, we talked about pretty much confirmed things. There's going to be a dog skin for the Houndmaster. There's like leaks and rumors and pretty credible things. This whole idea of a Tokyo Ghoul collaboration seems like most likely it's going to be the March license paragraph. And now we're going to transition to more of the rumors and theories. These are unconfirmed things. Behavior has actually not said these are going to be happening, but a lot of the community is talking and there's a lot of mystery surrounding some of the new content that was just released for Dead by Daylight. We started to go into this last video where we talked about the possibility of these new mechanics for the Houndmaster being used for a Jurassic Park chapter. And something I wanted to focus on is actually this theory right here, which a lot, I think a lot of people were thinking whether they realized it or not. So the question becomes, is this Mount Ormond Lake mine related to the Houndmaster's chapter or just the doomed course chapter? We have a lot of mixed information about it and people are wondering if it's not related to the Houndmaster chapter, could it be teasing upcoming content or could this map be used for a later killer in Dead by Daylight? On the anniversary roadmap, there was a new map planned with this chapter. That would sort of be an argument for this map was supposed to come with this chapter. Also, the Ormond Lake mine was teased in the Legion comics more than a year ago, and apparently Tari and her cult were vaguely teased as well. The new map is also more related to this chapter than previously thought. After being abandoned, it became a breeding ground for cult activity. And this is actually from the Legion comics right here. Jesus, I thought we were caught. You know you were in the wrong if you were scared. They kept finding animal bones just outside the resort in the woods. And people are wondering if they're talking about Mount Ormond Resort when they're talking about this. Piles of them like they'd been used for rituals. Oh yeah? Some people said Mount Ormond Resort got run out of business, but I remember when I was a kid, they started opening up the mountain after the mines dried up. But when they finally decided on the first site to plant the explosives, the mine opened up right underneath their feet and swallowed them in the build site hole. 13 men died. No kidding. People were already protesting the project and then that sealed the end of it, but that hole was described as dark and endless. I think it was planned. Human sacrifice. I have a theory. There's been a global rise in cult activity for the last 20 years. I've read every book I could find about it. I don't think it's a bunch of individual groups. I think it's a network. Connected incidents. Julie, you've never answered before about your damage. What's it matter? You've got everything it would seem, but you're raw. You haunt me, but I just gotta know what it is about you. That makes it impossible to get you out of my head. So could this cult be referring to the survivor that's coming in with the chapter, suggesting that it is related to the Houndmaster's chapter? Could this have been what Dave Richards was talking about when he said there's foreshadowing in the lore of what's to come? People are wondering if this new map is somehow teasing upcoming new killer content in the game, and there's a lot of theories and rumors to support this. These are not confirmed things by behavior, but I'm gonna lay out the information for you and let you decide for yourself. Okay, well, take a look at this. This is gonna blow your mind. Someone on the forums was asking the devs exactly when this new map's going to be released. By year, do you mean 2024 or DBD year as in before next June? The community manager, Mandy, said 2024 year. It's not gonna be released November 28th with the chapter, but it's going to be released before the end of this year. Mandy also said the new map will be available later in the year. It's not a part of the chapter, i.e. not connected with this character. Is it a part of a different chapter? Mandy said it's not connected to a chapter at all. I think we can safely say there's not going to be another chapter release after this one in 2024, given we're so close to the end of the year. So this is sort of just a mysterious map release that Dead by Daylight is coming out with that was on the PTB with an original chapter. Someone said there's a giant sinkhole on the PTB Ormond map. If you stand next to it, distorted screams can be heard from below. This sound cannot be heard anywhere else on the borders of the map, only next to the sinkhole. Could this be related to the killer who will own this map in the future? I'm going to play this whole audio file for you right now. Let's have a listen.
does it sound to you like there's voices down there that could be teasing some sort of new killer or new monster? Could these roaring monster sounds be what Dave Richard was talking about in regards to deep, deep secrets hidden in the Dead by Daylight maps? People are thinking it's either teasing an original chapter that's heavily inspired by the thing. It's a repurposed map that was transformed very early. This could be something that's in line with the fact that they mentioned a cult and it could have been associated with the new survivor, but maybe that idea has been scrapped. It sort of sounds like there's a creature roaring from outside the map. Could all of these things and the fact that it is a snow map sort of be teasing the thing? Could it be some sort of monster or yeti that lives in the snow down in a cave? Could it be some sort of cave monster or cave dweller monster that behavior is teasing to us right now through this map? People are also wondering if this map is somehow intended to be a part of a later chapter that has yet to be announced. As of right now, the Houndmaster is a killer whose origin is unknown. And we know that this Mount Ormond Lake is set in the Ormond region, which is a once thriving ski town in Canada. This fell into decline after a more luxurious resort opened nearby. The Mount Ormond Lake mine represents the town's failed attempts to revitalize its economy through mining, which left the area scarred and abandoned. Both the Houndmaster and the Mount Ormond Lake mine map were introduced simultaneously, but their stories remain separate within the game's lore. So I went onto the map myself for fun just to sort of investigate the situation. And everyone knows if you want to examine assets or things that are outside of the map, you have to spawn in as Pinhead. Pinhead's ability allows him for you to see a camera that actually travels outside the bounds of the map. I tried this several times and I kept hitting this high collider that was actually above the fence line. So that kind of sucked, but I kept trying and I kept trying at different angles. And I found that if I actually aim his power up into the sky and then dip down while I'm flying through the sky, you can actually sort of see what's down there in that canyon. I tried to see if I could get better visuals using Victor. Victor can pounce directly onto the fence line and then you sort of get a peek of what it looks like down there, but then Victor instantly crushes. So there actually wasn't much I could see through this avenue either. The map is called Mount Ormond Lake Mine. So I was looking around for like a frozen lake along the perimeter of the map and I really just couldn't find one. This looks like it's some sort of mining shaft or possibly some elevator that goes down to the mining facility. So it seems like this abyss could be related to the mine in some way. I was also looking around this map for anything that could confirm that this map is connected to the thing or if it could provide clues for new original killers. And other than the roaring monster sound, I really couldn't find much. Going back to the drastic theories that we talked about from the previous video, sort of speculating if the Houndmaster's power could actually be used and implemented in a Jurassic Park chapter. I found that that theory is pretty interesting and compelling. If you haven't seen that video, you can click on the title above. Primal King in my Discord brought to my attention, there's someone besides Owen Grady that could control the Raptors. She was a major antagonist in the film, however recently she's been the main antagonist behind the scenes in Jurassic World Chaos Theory a show on Netflix. She's able to control her own Raptors by using clickers and a red light. She can easily be a killer since she was actively trying to assassinate Nublar 6, sending her Raptors and causing accidents during dinosaur transactions that almost resulted in one of the Nublar 6 deaths. Jurassic World Dominion is Jurassic World 3 and the most recent installment in the franchise, and if they want to continue this storyline and carry over this franchise into a new trilogy, if there is a Jurassic chapter that ever comes to Dead by Daylight, they might want to use her as a killer to market the franchise. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want more theories like this recommended to you by YouTube. That does it for this video. Goodbye.